Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast. This is Selick and I have been really busy guys. As you can see here, I have some nice cool new armor and a nice new sword. I have uh, been digging a lot. I've been building a lot. I'll show you some of the progress we've made down below here. We have dug out quite a bit this way over here and I've also dug out a little bit over here and started a little uh, proof of concept um, area down there trying to figure out how I'm going to eventually I want to move everything down here I want to move my um, my farms and reactors and whatnot storage etc etc I'll show you some of the things I've been uh, doing up top here I um, I've realized that I am come I've come to a point of a limitation. I'll say that um, to progress in the game, you have to have all the resources, and some of the resources I'm definitely missing are the uh, Nether resources. I've yet to open up a portal to the Nether. Um, as of this recording, uh, 1.5 has not dropped, and course as you know 1.5 is going to be the nether generation is going to be different with nether quartz and um, since most of my uh, endeavors are going to be around this area here I would really like to have the nether that's generated around here this area um, or related to this area I would like it to have nether quartz so I've been sort of putting it off and so that's caused problems um, but I have I have an idea because um, you need soul sand, you need nether rack, you need nether brick, but, um, and you also need glowstone. Well, glowstone, well, you don't have to just go to the nether to get glowstone, and that's one of the big things, that's one of the next steps, having the, I think it's the advanced circuits, uh, backpacks, different things, or sorry, the jetpacks need the, um, the glowstone. So, anyways, yeah, I've, I've been pretty busy, um, you can see here, I've, I've made myself a still, um, refining some of my biomass into biofuel. I have an MFE now. Pretty fancy. Um, yeah, I changed over my... Um, I made a little tree farm. I had um, some... was making some rubber trees for a while and decided to switch over to normal trees. I have quite a bit of wood now. And yeah, electric furnaces, upgrades, and have some overclockers, that kind of thing. Oh, and this is my Enderman killing area. When they come up here, um, I think I've got around seven Ender Pearls now. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I'm still I'm still thinking about doing the, uh, uh, finding the stronghold soon. So much to be done. So much to be done. Um, yeah. I've been doing a little exploring. You can see here I found a Wisp Dungeon. It's pretty far away. Um, not too far in the nether. I think it's around uh, less than wait, 8 60, yeah, less than 200 blocks away uh, in the nether. Um, so that's that's not too bad. I explored out this way a little bit and I've in my exploration I have found a number of uh, volcanoes and um, which actually we can segue to that right now. This volcano it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. I like where it's. I like its location. Uh, I like that it's in the middle of the glacier. But in my opinion, it's a little lacking, just a little bit. I'm not complaining necessarily. It's a really cool place. But I have plans to make it even cooler. Let me run over here real quick and show you my idea. You may have seen these cobblestone structures rising to the sky and wondered to yourself, well. What what is that? Well, let me show you what that is. Think of it as a sketch, sort of um, sketching out, making my volcano bigger. I want to take it up a little bit higher, even maybe up into here, and bring it all the way back down again. And I'm going to need more volcano to do that. And so uh, I've been exploring around a little bit. 
I found around six volcanoes. There are quite a few volcanoes around here. I mean, they're with you know a thousand or more blocks away. Most of them. There's one over here. Envy is another volcano. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So that's about yeah six five seventy away. So it's it's a good it's a pretty good distance away. And I want to basically do some volcano harvesting and go through there and grab as much of the, the basalt rock as I can. And we're going to build this guy up into the sky. We're going to build him way up high. Hey, that rhymed. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, we have, have a lot to do. So back, back, to, the, back to the thing with the, with the nether holding us back. I want to do some more exploring. I want to find a witch spawner. A witch house. Because they they drop they drop the redstone, of course, they drop glass bottles and sticks. But more importantly, they drop the glowstone. Glowstone dust. And that's we really need that. So I've explored that way a lot. My my waypoints sorry, my waypoints are not up. I've explored that way. I've explored that way. And all I've made a sor sort of a circle around this way, but I've yet to go that way. I think that's the positive direction, right? Yeah, I've yet to go this way. So I want to I want to explore over this way uh, a little bit, and um, now that I have my cool nano suit armor and my nano saber, I'm prepared to do that. So I'm going to get a couple things together here, and we are going to venture forth that way and see what we can find. Um, fingers crossed, hopefully we can find a witch hut uh, this episode. So I will meet you guys back once I have made my preparations. All right, we have made our preparations. We, we have a boat. Well, we have two boats, the backup boat. We have a bed, some wood, crafting table, and I enchanted a bow. I'm thinking that uh, because these witches are ranged, we'd like to stay away from them if possible. Uh, I'm all charged up, and we're basically going to go until um, something runs out. Uh, I have a feeling that my nano suit will probably run out first, but just in case, um, we might dig a little bit. I don't have much in the way of... Uh, Resources, so probably honestly, once our nano suit runs out or a nano saber arrow, something runs out, uh, maybe food will be coming back. I doubt the food is going to run out. We have a full stack, so let's let's head out. Leap of faith. Woo! We have found a large ocean. Well, let's keep going. Is it possible that there's just like an infinite ocean? I have no I have no idea. I have, we have not seen land for a while. So I'm getting a little nervous. But I'll keep going. Land ho! Found some land. Small little island, I guess? I don't know. Swamp. Yes. Found some swamp. That's actually not too bad. We we came diagonal. Wait, diagonal from this direction. There we are. And saw this, and we've made it. Oh, ho, 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 sweet! Whoa, that is huge. Oh, really bad. That is big. That's quite a bit of the black stuff that I like, the basalt. That is cool. Let's check out the swamp. I'm hoping there's something in here. I've seen about five or six swamps so far in all of my exploration. I have like 18 waypoints now. 20 waypoints? I don't know. It's not much of a swamp, is it? Let's check F3. Well, it says we're in swampland. I 
watch out for these li lily pads. Well, if I see something... Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, wow, that is really isolated. I've never seen one just sitting there in the middle of the water like that. Normally it's on land, at least what I've seen. That is perfect. I think, I, I literally think this is like the sixth, sixth swamp that I've been in, and this is the first one that I've seen. This is great. Anyone home? Hello? Where's my li lily pad at here? That's hard to say, li lily pad. There we go. I don't see any witches in there. Hmm. I think I'm going to try to build a bit of uh, land with my stacks of wood here. I was thinking I was going to have a lot more land than this, and then I could actually build a little structure. Um, I might still do that, but... For these guys to spawn, I, I think I might have to have some room here. So, yeah, let me get to that, and I'll be right back. All right, I have my bed on the pier and a little bit of working room down there if any were to spawn in the hut. Of course, they don't spawn anywhere else but right in this area. Um, I believe starting at either this level or this level they can spawn. And then, of course, they can spawn in the hut itself. Um, I don't think they can spawn on top. But um, if they were to spawn, they can... Uh, be able to come out and look around and be shot by my bow and arrow. All right, I'm going to wait till dark, and then uh, we will do a little witch hunting. Hopefully we can get us a little bit of glowstone. All right, the sun is setting, and hopefully something will spawn shortly. I may need to light up some of the area around here. I'm not going to do any caving. I'm just hoping for one or two. Um, I don't need a lot of glowstone, just a little bit. Maybe maybe a half dozen. That would be nice. Uh, so we will see. Um, I'm on hard mode now, so the spawn rate should be decent, just in general. Now, how the witches correspond to that, I know it. They go up with the count of the regular mob count. They go with the count of the regular mob count. So if the mob count's high then they may or may not spawn, a lot less likely to spawn. So uh, hopefully we'll see something shortly. All right, it is the next day, and absolutely nothing happened through the night. Uh, it's pretty disappointing, actually. Um, so I have a new idea, a new strategy. Instead of going out, uh, I think 24 blocks, 24 blocks is the, the limit that you're, you're looking for uh, when you're allowing a mob to spawn in a certain location. I was away 24 blocks, but the problem is, is I'm sure there's there are probably caves underneath, and obviously there are probably mobs over here as well. So what I'm going to do is instead of going out this way, I'm going to go up. And since I have my cool uh, long fall boots on, I can go up like you know 100 blocks or something and uh, watch for them to spawn. So I'm going to cut down a tree here and uh, build some ladders, and we will. See, look into making a tower of death. All right, we are at 144, which I believe means we are 80 blocks above the witch hut here. Now, obviously, one of the problems I've already seen is that I don't know if I'm going to be able to see them if they do spawn. 
if you watch when I jump, watch when I see the squid. Ooh, man, that was that guy right there. And I didn't see him to probably... Huh. 100... Not even 100 blocks. Let's see if we can see when he disappears. Don't swim out of my vision, buddy. Oh. Coming back. There you go. All right. Oh, there's some right there. Excellent. Thank you, Squid. All right. They're still in vision. Still in vision. Oh, there they go. So 120. So yeah, not even that. And 120. That's I gotta do math. 36. 56. Not very good. So I'll probably. The sun's still setting here. I'll probably just jump down just on a semi regular basis and see if there's anything that spawned down there. So uh, once the sun has set, uh, we will get back to recording. The sun is setting. The moon is coming up. And it's time to rain death from above. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, here we go. Hopefully something's down there. Woohoo! Wow, that still freaks me out. <laughs> Even though I know I have long fall boots on. And nothing. <sighs> okay, let's try it again. Alright, we're going to give it just a minute. I'm pretty sure I'm above... I don't think monsters can spawn on the leaves, can they? I don't know. If this doesn't work this time, I'm probably going to try to uh, jump up another 48 blocks. That would be, well, a little less than uh, 48, because that would be a full 128. So yeah, I'll probably go up another, say, 40 blocks or so and see if that helps. So let's let's give it another shot here. Ooh. Anything? Anyone home? Mm, yeah. Oh. Zombie's home. Come here, zombie. Cool sword. All right, let me. Uh, I'm gonna add a few more blocks here. All right, that's 110. This is gonna be 120 right there. All right, let's see if that helps us out any. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Wow! <laughs> Oh my goodness. That was insane. Oh goodness, I'm glad I have this nano saber. Oh, that hurt. Oh man. <laughs> that was nuts. Come here, dude. Oh, come on. Yeah. Alright, let me get rid of these guys, and I probably should have half slabbed it. I'll half slab it and uh, kill these guys, half slab it, and I'll get back. Alright, so now I am counting or looking at the entity count. Right now, there is, it says one out of, well, I'm not looking down, though. One out of 80. I'm hoping to see that drop. 60, there we go, 50, 40. Drop more. 30. Hmm. Two. So there may be some witches down there now. I wonder if I should jump stack a little higher. Well, this time, I hope there's a witch. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, Enderman. Oh, come on, really? <sighs> okay. Well, I guess I can get some Ender Pearls, maybe. Woohoo! Aw, a witch. Perfect. Oh, crap. I'm going to get my bow out. <sighs> yeah, perfect. Oh, more witches. Sweet. Wow, I'm a bad shot. 
Stop it. There we go. I probably should put half slabs up there, huh? All right, we are almost at the top, and the entity count is dropping. That's good. Oh, that's weird. Why is it jumping up to like 70 and then 60? I see fives and sixes and sevens. It's like confused or something. Hmm. I'm going to jump off backwards this time, or to the side maybe. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, I got one. Two. Sweet. Somebody give me some glowstone, baby. Oh, I'm a bad shot. That is not as gunpowder. Hmm. Gunpowder, glowstone. Nope. Gunpowder. All right, well, I'm gonna keep going. Yeah, that is, oh no, way better. Stay away. I think I need to have a different strategy now that there's so many spawning. Because that will get me killed. Alright, I have a new plan. Let's see, if you can see. I am trying, well, we're going to see. This is, this is uh, version 1 of the Witch Bunker. I'm going to drop down, hopefully, right near that white spot. There's a about a four wide gap there that I can hit, a uh, four by four gap. And so uh, we're going to see if we can hit the gap and uh, see if the witches will track to us. And hopefully we can maybe just chop their feet off. Let's see how it goes. Ooh. Okay, and... Ah. He hit me anyways. I was hoping to avoid that. Did he hit me? They're coming at me like this. Shoot. Well, I survived. I, uh... I have to say, that was quite a bit of work for... Uh, glowstone dust. So... Yeah, I think my strategy needs to be rethunk here. This is not working out the way I had envisioned. First of all, I had I had envisioned a um, a witch hut that was surrounded by some land, at least somewhere, so that I could uh, you know maneuver and go out go after them with my uh, sword. Um, maybe dodge some potions and um, or take a few potion hits, but you know. I figured that would be okay. Uh, I guess I could, you know, go mine some iron and get some cows together and m get some uh, milk so that uh, as I get poisoned, I can cure myself. That's an idea. But there's still the the trouble of having to climb up and then jump back down again. Climb up and jump back down. And even though that's, I think it was fun for the first few times after about the 15th time of climbing up, coming back down, and only hoping to get some glowstone, which is really the, the ultimately the, the, the purpose of why I went ahead and decided to look for a witch hut to begin with. Oh man, it's a pain. So yeah, definitely rethinking um, my strategy here. Of course, it'd be great if I just found out tomorrow that 1.5 was scheduled to release and I would know uh, when I could go ahead and um, head into the nether. Uh, my other option is to just go really far that way mm, wait that way uh, keep going and uh, go to a part of the nether that I just wouldn't really care about um, but I would prefer I definitely prefer to be able to uh, jump into the, to the nether for the first time at 1.5 uh, of course it would be pretty bad if it were like a month away from now that would stink so I'm going to play it by ear uh, I might just get fed up with it and build a portal 
and uh, head on in anyways. Uh, we'll see. But like I said, I'm definitely held up by the fact that I don't have glowstone and uh, the soul sand and nether nether rack and nether brick. I need those things to uh, keep progressing in the game to keep getting higher and higher tiers of um, uh, materials that I can create. Uh, specifically the the blast furnace, the industrial blast furnace, those types of things that I need uh, to build, I can't. So I might uh, look into doing this. I also, like I said before, I mean, uh, right now it's killing me not getting enough XP. I, I, I'm used to having, um, in, in my vanilla world, I have an ender ender. Uh, <laughs> um, the, I have a, it's, it's a Doc M style, um, or um, is it uh, JL? I don't remember all the numbers. Those guys over on their server, they, they develop the, uh, the ender, the enderman grinder. I have one of those in my old world, so I'm just used to being able to jump in, uh, grab um, my 30 levels, you know, within a few seconds, and, and then enchant and be done with it. And so I really feel that not having uh, the enchanting levels I need are, is holding me back as well. I want silk touch. I want to be able to stock up on diamonds. I want to be able to do the things that I'm used to. And then, you know, I, I feel like that's a priority over even, you know, strip stripping one of these volcanoes down to size. So hopefully, um, hopefully I'll have a better strategy next time, a better plan. There's there's a, a chance I will just you know we can grab a filler or a, a quarry and start start moving the stuff out. Um, but that's a lot of work. It's a ton of work, and um, so yeah, I need to figure out what I want to prioritize. If you have any ideas, uh, feel free to comment. Um, definitely open to suggestions and uh and we'll i'm i know i'll have a plan we'll figure out something uh, the best way to go next time so anyways guys i appreciate uh i appreciate you guys watching i i hope you've enjoyed the video um again just let me know what you think in the comments and if you enjoy the video uh give it a like and that will certainly help out uh, help me out and um yeah, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna head on back home. It's a quite a a walk, but that's all right. I um. But I will see you guys over there again uh, next time. See you later.